Karl Lagerfeld is arguably the most iconic, um, most famous fashion designer in the world. And his loss comes at a time when not many of his generation are still working today. And he, he was someone who certainly worked tirelessly up until his death. You know, he balanced so many so many jobs. He, he worked for the House of Chanel and the House of Fendi, as well as pursuing his interests in photography and books. And he had a, a mind and an energy that was almost superhuman. Um, you know, he, he, it's almost as though he didn't run on, on, on normal, on time zones or anything. He, was, he really was incredible. Now it has to relate to all kind of modern life, whatever there is, that is in a way opportunistic. But I, I think it's interesting and I like it. But if you don't have the music of today, the mood of today, and the feeling of today, if fashion doesn't say anything, it wouldn't be fashion. Then it would be pretentious creation who have no real life. Huh? Certainly, well, I think he will be remembered for, uh, for turning around the house of Chanel when he joined in the early 80s. Chanel was the dead house, um, famous for its perfumes. It didn't have a fashion business. And he really established that and, and turned it into the biggest fashion house in the world. I think that one of the incredible things that he did is urge the owners of Chanel to buy the haute couture ateliers in Paris, um, such as Le Marier, the kind of feather workshop, or Lesage, the embroiderers, or Maison Michel, the milliners, which are very old, uh, traditional workshops where everything is done by hand and passed down through generations. And I, I remember him saying that as long as there is Chanel, there will be haute couture. <laughs> Karl Lagerfeld made everything look easy and he was with Chanel and Fendi for decades and what we've seen in fashion in the last few years is that designers and creative directors are increasingly flippant when it comes to, to jobs at big houses. They don't last that long. I think that he had an incredible endurance, him, and he really, really put work before anything. And, you know, he famously said that he wanted to die on the stage, which, which he did. And, you know, I, I think that probably says quite a lot about his sparkling wit and rather caustic humour. How can I say, he was extremely talented in capturing Chanel's purposes and he was one of the first creative directors that I would assume has actually managed the brand that was in their own perfectly and I think he's a big example for all the future creative directors that are taking over some other brand from big shoes that they will have to fill in the future. Yeah. I have. I've been so sad. That was the first time I, I heard when I got here. Like, like I said, I want to think about Karl Lagerfeld that I was like, is he dead? Like, that's, you know, like it's the last day of Fashion Week and that's what we get. That's, a, that's, that's really sad actually. 
And uh, what's like for me, what's the, the worst about it is that like he, in my opinion, was one of like the last person like that was present in like the the fashion evolution. It was like the last one we had was like McQueen that died in 2010. That was such a loss as well. But like we had him, and now he's he's gone. It's it's really bad. He did so many things, and I think this is the reason that people loved Carl because uh, it, it wasn't only uh, one aspect. He had too many different things to uh, to present, and every time that uh, it was the show of Chanel or Fendi, uh, people uh, can't wait to to see the new 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 work. It's like a gigantic loss to the fashion world. Not uh, only because of his design legacy, but also about just the icon Lagerfeld, you know himself. He was such an I like an icon in fashion, but also how he looked. And he really, for me, he's one of these like fashion superstars. Um, so yeah, it's a sad day for fashion, but also like yeah for celebrities and fame and you know that whole kind of like pop culture. He's like embedded in pop culture. So yeah. Nine, eight. Sept, six, cinq, 